Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we are back for episode one of Software Inc. We're not really back. Uh, this is kind of the first episode, but we're going to play some Software Inc. This is uh, by no means a new game. It's been out for, I think, about a year now in early access form, and it's developed a lot since then. Over the year, I've had, like, a ton of people request that I play this game, and I kept looking at it, and it didn't really seem like my kind of game, but uh, I recently took the plunge. I bought it. I started playing it, and I have been having a ton of fun with this game. So before we jump in, for those who are unfamiliar with the game, which I'm assuming is most people watching this video, uh, this is a uh, early access, like I mentioned, but it's kind of like a simulation strategy management game, kind of along the same lines as uh, Prison Architect in the way that uh, in Prison Architect, you start, you're given like some money and you have to build a really small prison and then expand that prison, hire new staff, take in more inmates, make more money, expand, 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 and deal with any problems that come your way during developing that prison. This is kind of a simulation idea but instead of a prison you are the founder as you can see up here my name is Isaac and I'm the founder of this new software company I've called it gaming on caffeine because I'm extremely original when it comes to name creation and we are given that software company we have to start out small develop software expand hire employees make better software build our building make sure our employees are happy and then expand and grow and, and become the richest software company in the whole entire world so uh, you start out this is the character customization screen I've gone ahead and created myself in the best way that I can. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, the character customizer here is not the most detailed thing in the world. Like there are only a few types of hairstyle, uh, a couple of like shirts and, and trousers that you can wear, but uh, this doesn't really matter all too much. You don't spend that much time looking at your character. You spend more time looking at your building and kind of like developing the software and stuff. But uh, I call myself Isaac. I developed this character. We do have skills down here. I've kind of left them just as they are by default where your character is just somewhat good at everything, but not particularly great or particularly bad at anything. Uh, so these are all of the different kinds of skills there are in the game. And of course, as we go forward, we're going to hire more people. We're going to hire people who are really good at programming, really good at designing, really good artists, and really good at marketing. But to start out with, it's just going to be us in the company. And so I want to kind of be a kind of good at everything uh, so we can do all of that. We've got specialization down here. You can specialize in certain types of design, code, and art. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on how all of this works. And by the way, I'm by no means uh, an, an, an expert on this at all yet. I've played like a couple of hours into the game so i'm going to be learning as much as you are as we go through this uh, but we'll say we'll go with one of each we'll say 2d system and audio uh, in terms of our specializations here and then up in the top right we have a scenario we can either go free play or competition i haven't played competition yet so we're going to go with free play starting money you can go from 5,000 up to 500,000. we're going to start uh, with a somewhat generous 20,000 start you get to pick the year that you start in this affects the uh, the like initial items that you buy so if we start in 1980 which i think we're going to do we have to buy like a really old looking computer and we haven't unlocked certain technologies yet but uh, your software company can research those technologies and get them before anyone else and patent them and then make money from them and stuff like that whereas if you start in 2010 most of those technologies have already been patented and you can't really do anything with those uh, but you do get to start with with better technology better computers and things kind of are a little bit easier in that regard but uh, we're going to start in 1980 uh, we're going to start in the city because i think the city looks the nicest difficulty easy medium hard which goes on medium and then days per month the game works uh, in on like a monthly cycle things happen every month and you can select between one and eight days per month if you do eight days you get a lot more control over what happens in the game but the game moves incredibly slowly like it takes a lot of time to get stuff done and you spend a lot of time just kind of waiting around and so for the sake of the video we're gonna go with one day and we're gonna start the game so uh, i spouted a lot of information there hopefully i didn't scare anybody off and, uh, and we're ready to go here uh, so this is our plot of land we're currently paused or we will be paused actually it's 10 a.m january 1980 what a time to be alive and this is our plot of land so uh, we want to start by building something. we got $20,000, uh, and we can build a little room. We can't really build uh, too big of a place. You can see here, this is going to cost $43,000, uh, and we only have $20,000, and we still need to buy all of the stuff to go into our building. And so to start with here, we will just build a very small little box that looks something like that. Look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, so we need a door. We can go ahead and start a door right on the front here. I'll go with this glass door. I kind of like uh, the glass door here. I really... <laughs> I'm I'm kind of a, a freak when it comes to symmetry. I like things to be symmetrical, so I'm going to throw a double door down there. You'll probably notice that as we go through the series here when I kind of build things and try and make them identical on both sides. But we've got this. We need a desk. We need some furniture in here for our employees to work at. Uh, our only employee right now is us. We can hire more people later on down the line, but for now... 
throw down some desks. We'll throw down a, an office chair. We can go with the fancy chair instead of the cheap chair. I'm not quite sure what difference this makes. For us, you can see there's got a bit of a comfort bar. Uh, employee satisfaction is a thing. As you go further forward, your employees will become more efficient and will work better if they can, if they feel comfortable and if they like the environment and they're not too hot or cold or anything like that, uh, which actually does take me to ventilation. You can go, uh, go through and like specify uh, which kind of category you want to look in. For example, lighting. I might want to put a big fluorescent light uh, in this room like so. You, can, you, you have to work on this grid and the grid snaps the items into place. You can tweak the grid over here on the left. We can double the size of the grid or half the size of the grid. If we half it, we get a little bit more control. You can half it quite far. Uh, you get more control over where you can snap all of your items. So you can see right now I can very finely pick where I want this flu uh, fluorescent light to go. Uh, I'm going to put it there and then we'll double the grid again because it's a little easier to work with uh, the bigger grid like this. So we've got a light, we've got a desk. Let's get ourselves a computer here. These are the computers we can choose from. As you can see, certain computers aren't unlocked until later on down the line. So for now, we're going to have to go with this bog standard old computer, which is going to sit right about there. And the game does give you little pointers as to what you need to put into the room to make it work. You can see right now it says the temperature will vary a lot in this room and temperature regulators and remember windows leak. So let's go back over to function. Let's go to, I think temperature is one of these. It is right at the bottom. Uh, I usually like to go with just a radiator in the corner and then like uh, some kind of ventilation. You can get some pretty big fans and even an air conditioning unit later on down the line. But as you can see, that costs 500, whereas this little guy right here only costs 100. So I'm just going to put a little fan there. And uh, that is currently unreachable by the employees. So let's go ahead and move that, uh, I guess, like right about there. There we go. Beautiful. All right. We got no, no little arrows. Nothing telling us that something is wrong. So we can back out of the build editor there, which you can do by pressing tab, by the way, if you're playing along. Uh, and now what we can actually do is we can change uh, the color of the building. We can actually make the building look a little bit nicer. Uh, we can pick a pattern and we can change the colors. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, pick a construction material. So the exterior, uh, I kind of like to go with the brick. Interior... Uh, we've got a couple of uh, like options for patterns here on the interior wall. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the wave one. I kind of like this one. This one's pretty simple. And I also kind of like this one, though, as well. So, you know what? We're going to go with that one. It looks a little bit more funky than just, like, the plain white wall. And then, of course, the floor. I'm just going to go with, like, a wooden floor here. Look at that. Oh, look at that. It's actually starting to look like an actual building. I love it. Uh, so let's go ahead and change some of the colors here. Which one? Room colors. Here we go. Uh, so exterior, you know, we'll do floor first because I think the floor is just going to be, like, a bog standard kind of wooden looking floor, something like that. Oh, Oh, look at this. I really like the design act like factor of this game. It didn't need to have it, but it makes it look a lot cooler when you can like make the floor look really nice like that. Uh, the interior walls, we will go with, you know, I kind of like orange. Let's go with like an orangey color there. And then exterior, what do you want our exterior to look like? Do you want it to be like, there were some really wacky colors, by the way. Like you would never see this kind of pink building in the real world. Actually, what colors are, uh, are all the buildings around us? Let's take a look here. Uh, we have a lot of just like planned, planned. That was plain and bland merged together makes planned. If you were looking for a new word to add to your vocabulary. But um, they look pretty bland. Uh, we'll go with, you know. We'll stick with pink. That looks perfect. That looks absolutely perfect. So I'm going to hit play. I'm not going to hit play yet, actually, because we're going to skip to the next day. Uh, and that's going to skip on to the next month when uh, our employees can actually come into work. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the user interface here, just so you know what's going on. At the top left, of course, we have our money. We have the current time uh, of the day. And basically, uh, our employee will start work at a certain time and end work at a certain time. And we can skip the day when they're not in work. So after like our employee leaves at, say, 4 p.m., we can skip to the next day. And when we skip to the next day, it automatically skips to the next month. So if I click this now, if I click skip unused time, it will skip over to February 1980. And then the next day, I'll finish at 4 p.m. I click skip again, and it moves over to March. 1980, etc., etc., just to make sure the game's moving uh, kind of fast because you know software development is fairly slow. And if we did it just day by day or even like week by week, it would take forever to actually get anything done. Um, so that's kind of the top bit there. You can speed time up, you can slow time down, you can pause time. At the bottom here, we have a lot of stuff. Not going to cover all this just yet, uh, but we have development, which is where we choose uh, what software we want to develop. Uh, we have HR, which is where we kind of manage our employees, hire new employees, uh, and do stuff like that. Finance, we can take out loans, we can look at stocks we have stocks in our own company later on down the line we can look at buying stocks in other companies uh, which kind of leads me to this section over here market which just shows you what's happening with all the other companies in the world for example uh, if we look at all companies these are all the companies right now we have gaming on caffeine here if we look at worth we are worth the least out of all of these companies you can see we're right there at the bottom and uh, you can look at their stocks and you can buy their stocks obviously right now i do not have 175 million to buy stocks in shadow trap camp productions but later on down the line i might and 
then I can acquire their patents. I can also acquire their products and I can make money from their patents and products and not have to pay licenses for software that they develop. Pretty cool stuff. Um, there's also like a, a little newspaper thing which tells you about new releases and kind of reviews your software when you put software out there. Uh, and so what we're going to do here, we're not going to hire anybody just yet. For this time being, we're going to be like a, a single man team. We're going to work on our own and we're going to develop our own software. Uh, so let's skip on over to the next uh, day here and let's actually start uh, our first day. I am going to quickly change. I'll click manage employees. Uh, actually, do I want to manage teams? I do. Uh, you can set up different teams so you can divide your employees up into teams. Right now, we just have the one team, which is the core team. I'm going to change their working hours. Right now, they start at 8 a.m. and finish at 4 a.m. I kind of want them to work a little longer, so I'm just going to change that to 9 and 6. That only adds an extra hour, but it does get a little bit more work done. You don't want to push them too far, otherwise they will start to complain. They'll stop working. They'll become inefficient. It'll all become a big mess. So for now, we'll do that. We'll set the departure time to 6 p.m. and they'll arrive at 9 a.m. So uh, once 9 a.m. rolls around, our guy should start to run straight into the dark. Here he is. Look at that. Right now, he's got some Z's above his head. He's not getting anything done because he has nothing to do. There is nothing assigned for him to actually do. Now, uh, we could start working on developing our own piece of software. This is very time consuming, and this is kind of like the big portion of the game once you get uh, a little bit of a team going. You can select your product name, you can pick a type of product, operating system, uh, office software, 2D editor, audio tools, all kinds of stuff, uh, as well as set a price. You can uh, create sequels to software, like if you create an antivirus software and then five years later you want to create uh, the new antivirus software, you can select the old one and market it as a sequel to the old one. But we're not going to look at this yet. We're not going to create our own software. What we're going to do for now is we're going to do contract work, which is this one right down here at the bottom left. And basically, this is other companies or other people who want stuff doing that we can do. So if we look at all this stuff, we look at like logistics application here, and you can see the company that wants it done, the scope of the software, which is important to look at, because if it's like large, it's going to take quite a bit of time. Uh, you'll see that the required quality of this one is mediocre. I want the required quality to be horrible, because that means that they don't really want it to be that good, which means it's a lot easier to make and obviously this one is perfect because the scope is small the required quality is medium and we get like nine thousand dollars for completing it so i'm going to accept this work that that puts it over here so we have to start by designing it our core team is currently assigned to it later on down the line we can assign it to different teams if we so wish but i'm going to hit play and our man here is going to start working on designing the software look at him go he loves working he is in the perfect working environment he could not be more happy uh, we do actually have let me pause this real quick um this here which is monthly profit as you can see last month we didn't do particularly well because we didn't actually make any money or do anything we just built this building and nothing happened and as the game goes on more and more things appear this is like a graph over here on the left uh, more and more things appear to show you like how well your sales are doing how much your bills are costing how much you're paying in uh, in in salaries and how much interest your 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 deposits make because there is a section down here for insurance policies you can put money into like an insurance policy fund which will go up at i think five percent interest over time so you can kind of invest money there if you so wish but let's hit play again let's speed this up once it gets to this blue line here it's designed as well as it could be you can let people continue to continue to design uh, past that blue line but the game discourages it it says like if you leave people to design for too long then they kind of over design they over engineer something and it becomes too complicated or it becomes inefficient again and so you want to make sure that you click develop as soon as it kind of hits that blue line there so we're going to develop it it's now in the alpha stages as uh, so we're going to hit play again again it's going to go all the way up right now it is done you can see we have one month to do this we have, and when it says that it means we have this month and next month month to do this but we're going to finish this way before next month because we're going to move it on now to beta stage in the beta stage that my guy starts looking for bugs he found and fixed the one bug that was in the program and now we can release it and once we release it we get paid by the company we received eight thousand dollars taking us up to twenty five thousand and so that's the cycle. That's how we take our contract work. Obviously, later on down the line, we can assign contract work to like certain different people and we can expand and build like that. Uh, but let's do this again. Let's go ahead and take out some more contract work here. Let's see. Can we find more horrible work? We can probably actually take out multiple pieces of horrible work at a time. Uh, as you can see here, my guy is pretty good at multitasking. You will work on both at the same time. Let's develop this, develop this, move it into beta, beta release release and we're done fairly easy way to make money you can see we made money very very fast there we're up to forty five thousand dollars uh let's see is there any more of these the day's almost over my guy it is 6 p.m so my guy is gonna leave now uh, and go home so let's go ahead and just uh, hit play here he's gonna leave 
Uh, he's pretty much done. He's going to walk home. And then as soon as he's gone, we can now skip to the next day because there's not really a whole lot of point in being here because there's no one working. We can't do any work. Later on down the line, as we hire more people, we can actually change the times that they work. So we could have some people at work like this guy is doing 9 a.m. till 6 p.m., but then hire another team of people who are going to work, you know, 6 p.m. to say 3 a.m. and then maybe a third team that works like 3 a.m. to 9 a.m. to make sure we have people in the office at all times of the day. But again, that's much, much further down the line. For now, we're going to skip over to the next day and we're going to start working again. So we've got $45,000. I think we are probably good. Like $45,000 is a lot, is a fair bit of money. And you can see right now, we're not actually spending that much a month. We're spending $500 a month. So we can last a lot of months without making a profit. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to develop my own piece of software because this is where the real money is. If you develop your own software, put it out there and it does well, you can make a heck of a lot of money. So let's go ahead. Let's see what we can make here. Let's make... Um, let's go with like, I don't know, we, there was a vi antivirus down here, I don't know if that's changed, that might actually be uh, later on down the line, it might have not been unlocked yet, because I did start my previous game in, in the year of 2000, let's go, let's make an audio tool, let's call it, uh, let's call it Calf Wave, Calf Wave, that'll do, you know, like audio waves, sure, why not, <laughs> we'll call it Calf Wave, uh, over here you can select features that your uh, audio tool will have for example i can uh, add quality assurance i'm going to add that because that's going to make the stability much higher it's going to like lower the amount of bugs that it has and people are going to be much happier with it but the more stuff that we add the the harder it becomes this stuff cannot be added yet apparently because the feature depends on 8-bit audio from the operating system oh we haven't got an operating system we do have to pick an operating system to actually sell this on but for now let's just go with uh, see if we add a music editor it takes more than a year. So for now, I'm going to go real basic. We're going to release Calf Wave. It's going to be the audio software that's sweeping the country. And it's going to have audio playback and quality assurance. That's all it's going to do. Uh, the game recommends that we sell it for $36.37. Uh, I'm going to sell it for like $24.99. Just to make sure it's a bit more accessible. More people will buy it because it's cheaper than the rest of the stuff that is on the market. Uh, we don't have to select any kind of service here, I don't think. Source control management. Have all your codes synchronized in one place. No, we don't have to do that. Uh, all of our code will be synchronized on our one computer because there's only going to be one person working on it. And down here, it says operating system. There are a bunch of operating systems out there, of course, much like there are in the real world. In the real world, I don't think it's as complicated as this because there's really like Mac, Windows, and Linux. And then there's a few others that a lot of people don't release for. But uh, here, you can see all the operating systems. I usually just go uh, sort by active users and then develop for the software, the, the operating system that has the most active users. Because, of course, if I develop for frame blinds, that operating system is that's the only operating system that my audio tool works on it's not really going to sell that well like not at all so we'll go ahead and we'll make it for the opti4 uh, some do require a licensing fee you can see here we are going to have to pay 5000 just to develop the software for the opti4 uh, there is the opti5 which is currently you can see the marketing is unavoidable and so what might happen is over the course of maybe the next year as we make this software uh, the opti4 might become obsolete and the opti5 might become the new software that everyone's using especially given that we can see the shadow trap camp productions are currently marketing this pretty well you can see it's unavoidable everybody is seeing this marketing and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to develop for both of these softwares i'll develop for the opti4 and the opti5 it's going to be a little expensive you can see that it's going to cost us eleven thousand eight hundred and four dollars in licensing fees but I'm okay with that. That's going to be fine. Uh, we're going to sign to a team right now. Of course, we only have the core team. Everything else looks good. So I'm going to start developing this software. And uh, now you are given the option to start marketing it straight away, kind of start building some hype. I'm not going to do that uh, because marketing does cost money. You kind of like start advertising on uh, the TV, the radio, the newspaper, stuff like that. And, and we don't need to do that yet. So I'm just going to leave it like this. Uh, we could start doing contract work at the same time as we're developing uh, the calf wave audio tool my guy is pretty good again at multitasking and doing multiple things but uh, basically what i'm going to do now is i am going to uh, just keep skipping the days until we are done with designing here you can see you can stop designing at any given time right now the expected quality is bad a second ago the expected quality was horrible so i could move it to the alpha stage right now but the design would be bad uh, or the design would be horrible depending on where you stop it i want to get it all the way up to the end which is either great or outstanding depending on, uh, on on what stuff he chose when developing the software. I think for us, the best that we can do is get to grid. So I'm going to leave this running and I'll be back in a second once we're ready to develop this into alpha mode. And actually, I'll just wait until we get all the way to beta because this is going to take quite a bit of time. Okay, so a little while later, we're almost there on the design. We're getting, we're, we've currently got a great design. I want to push it all the way to the end here so we have an outstanding design. I'm going to slow down time a little bit. One thing you will notice, the office is getting a little bit messy. We can go over to manage staff and down here we can call cleaning. 
uh, they charge $50 an hour, but they will come and they will clean up this mess here and uh, make the environment just a little better for the employees. But I also forgot to mention that there are mini games within the game that you can use to speed up things like design, like alpha and like beta. We didn't really use them because we had it set to like the fastest speed. But if I click over here, you'll see there's a mini game. It's only recommended for small projects for like contract work, but I'll show you here uh, in regards to CafWave Pro. So this first one shows you numbers and what you have to do is you have to connect these numbers up uh, and get rid of the numbers. So for example, if I connect one to one, it gets rid of one. I like to use what I call the two triangle. If you connect three twos together, it does get rid of them and it actually makes life a lot easier. You can see it's, okay. <laughs> that one was particularly hard right off the bat because we were very close to finishing. Uh, so we wanna make sure that we move on to development now. The expected quality is outstanding. If I was to keep this going and let him continue to design it, it would start to move backwards again and go to great and then good or like and then bad. And it would start to go backwards in terms of how good it was in its quality. So let's develop, let's start speeding that up again. And again, there was a different mini game now for the uh, the development cycle, the alpha cycle. This one wants you to type in words. So words are gonna fall down and you're gonna realize now how bad I am at typing. Um, but as you do this, you can see at the top there, there's a multiplier. And basically you have to get the word, just type the words in and you have to type them in perfectly. For every word that you type in perfectly, your multiplier goes up and it speeds up the, the speed at which our guy is developing the software. Uh, if you type something wrong or you type the wrong character, uh, it's going to go ahead and get rid of your multiplier. For example, if I click Y, you'll see my multiplier just drop because the word is public. Uh, anonymous. <laughs> like that. Distinct. Oh, no. Come on. Order. Oh, gosh. Continue. Tag while else i know this is riveting commentary uh, but you can see right now i'm, I'm going to escape this because it's not really doing a whole lot uh, to improve our current software because our software is a pretty big piece of software this is you're supposed to mostly use this for early on in the game when you want to work on small pieces of contract work and get them done a little bit faster and you can see right now our monthly profits are not looking good because right now we are making no money we're putting all of our time and effort into developing this one piece of software uh, and so i'm going to go away again i'm going to wait until we are ready to go into the beta stage and uh, i'll be right back okay so we're and now in December of 1980, our alpha quality is outstanding. I'm going to promote this to beta, and I'm hoping that there are not going to be that many bugs yet. This is going to finish pretty quickly here, and once this is done, we are actually going to go ahead and release our product to the world. So we'll finish that 12th bug. Let's hit release. At this point, it does ask you again if you would like to start marketing the product. I am now going to say yes, and I'm going to put all of my money into marketing it everywhere. You can market it on the internet, radio, newspaper, and television. Uh, you do have to select a team, because my guy does have to do the marketing. He likes talks to press, uh, and does stuff like that. I'm going to spend $6,500 a month on marketing. You can lower this or hire it if you'd like. I want to put it absolutely everywhere. I want everyone to see the marketing. So we're going to start that campaign. It is almost the end of the day. So my guy is going to go home now and actually start marketing pretty much tomorrow. But you'll see now we do have a review. Somebody has reviewed our product. We highly recommend CalfWave. CalfWave is taking audio to new heights. And that's because we spent so much time uh, like putting effort into making sure it was outstanding in terms of its design, in terms of its alpha quality, getting rid of all those bugs. If we'd have rushed it a bit more, it wouldn't have worked anywhere near as well. You can see right now, uh, it says net, it made $629, so it produced, it was sold uh, a couple of times, it made $600 within its first day. We can look at our releases over here. Right now we have 29 active users, uh, and the profit is currently negative $11,000, because it takes into account how much we spent on actually making the software before we released it. So I'm hoping that as we market it, pretty hard here. I'm going to spend quite a bit of time marketing throughout January 1981. Uh, I'm hoping that spending that time will get as many people to see it and hopefully when we come back for February that net profit will be much much higher and we will have enough money to start expanding out our, our little business here, hire some more employees and, and get some more stuff done. So let's see how this works out. Skip over. We made $2,000, not quite as much as I was hoping. We've got 140 active users now, but we'll spend another month advertising here just to see if we can get this a little bit higher. Uh, we could also go ahead and take on some contract work whilst we wait. Uh, again, I would like to find the horrible stuff. Let's go ahead and take you. Let's take you as well. We'll, we'll take on multiple pieces of horrible work at the same time. It is going to dig into our marketing time a little bit, but it's also going to make us quite a nice amount of money uh, on the side to take us back up to almost 50000 here. Uh, we, we won't promote that yet. We'll wait for the next month. Net 1,900 is not doing great. The software has not provided us with as much money as I would have liked. Uh, when I, when I uh, played recently on my newer save, I did start in the year 2000. I made some antivirus software, and it did incredibly well. I'm not quite sure what factors there are in terms of how well software does, uh, or if it's just like kind of random depending on how good certain things are. Like I don't know if there was anything I could have done better to this audio software to make it sell more. 
Uh, po it's possible, I'm not quite sure. Uh, there is also, by the way, a little uh, section up here for fans. We currently have 59 fans, who are, or 73 fans, who just absolutely love our audio software. Not quite sure why, you know, I've never been a huge fan of audio software myself, but you know, maybe some people are, are into that. Uh, we should probably clean our office here. Let's call it cleaning. Any more contract work that needs to be done. Mediocre, bad, 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 horrible. We could probably do bad, but uh, horrible is a lot easier to do than bad. Uh, it, it takes a lot less time to do and usually pays uh, a lot more per hour of work time, if that makes any sense. So we'll develop it. That's almost done. Um, it's been a bit of money. Calf Wave has not been the most successful audio tool. But one of the really cool things is that if we wanted to develop something else now, for example, uh, if we go over to developing some new software again, uh, if we wanted to develop, for example, uh, let's see, maybe like a 2D, let's say we want to develop a game. Uh, oh, we can't do that. Sometimes, if you want to develop something and you need certain tools, for example, I think later on down the line, actually, if we go to operating system and we wanted to develop, oh, we can't develop HD audio. Uh, but basically, what I'm trying to say is that later on down the line if you want to make more software that has audio in it you can actually it says dependencies here you can select your own software so for example if i can find one here that actually requires some kind of dependency right now game engine we need to pick a game engine if we want to make a game so i would have to pick from one of these game engines here but if we were to develop our own game engine first release it and then make a game we could use our own game engine to then make that game so we'd have to pay licensing fees and it's just all a lot easier so uh let's actually look now into expanding a little bit. We're going to make some new software. We're going to make a, a direct sequel to that audio software we just made. It wasn't a huge t a success, but we'll make a new audio tool. We'll call it Calf Wave. Uh, let's see, Pro. It's going to be Calf Wave Pro. Uh, it's going to be not an original IP. It's going to be a sequel to the original Calf Wave. It's going to be like the same product, but better. This one's going to have quality assurance as well. I'll just show you here uh, what you had ticked last time because you want to kind of make sure it at least has the same stuff. But this time, we're also going to include a music editor. You'll see this does increase the time and that it takes to actually make the software but it's gonna be better and hopefully will sell better uh, because of it let's choose a 2d editor here let's go uh, again i like to go with just the one that has the most active users we all use power suite 8 uh, what's the license like for this one it's gonna cost us 1265 dollars uh, to license that but that's fine and then again for operating system what is everybody using these days everyone's now using opti 5 so earlier if we were to just develop for opti 4 our software would be doing much much worse because we could only sell to a potential at uh, 258,000 users as opposed to the just shy of 2 million users Users that Opti5 has right now. So for this one, we're just going to develop for Opti5. We're not going to develop for Opti4 as well, just because it adds that extra licensing fee that we don't need to have. Uh, so uh, we've got all this here. Price, uh, it recommends a price of $72.50 once we add the music editor. We will sell it for, let's go $59.99. We'll sell it for $60. Uh, category is default. I don't think you can change that. I'm not going to click it because I think it will just realign all the stuff that I've just done. I think it'll set it back to default. So we're going to leave it here. This is going to be Calf Wave Pro. We're going to release it pretty soon. Uh, we're going to start developing it. I don't want to start marketing it yet. And I have got the game paused because I don't want to work on this alone. I want to hire somebody and actually start to work with a bit of a team to get this done. Now... Uh, when you're just working as yourself, the founder of the company, you don't need to think about any of the needs that the employee has. Like, the employee will just work and will just get things done. However, once you start to employ other people, those other employees have needs that you then need to take care of. Uh, for example, if we go back over to build mode here, which again, you can do by just pressing tab. Uh, if we go over to furniture, I think it is, and then bathroom, uh, we can make a toilet. And the, you require a toilet, otherwise your employees will just stop working. If they don't have a toilet, they will just stop doing anything and will just give up. Now, unfortunately, you can't put a toilet like just here on the wall. Your employees will not go to that toilet. It has to be in its own room. And so what we'll do for now is, you know, what we'll do is let me go back to uh, function here. Let's add another desk right about here because I don't want to be sat directly next to my new employee. But we'll put them right about there. We'll stick the computer down right about there. So my new employee is going to work right here in this same room. Again, we, we still don't have a ton of money. And so I don't want to build like a massive office uh, for just me and one other employee that we're going to have uh, in just a second. But we'll do that. Uh, we'll throw down like a vending machine. So if they want to buy some stuff, they can buy some stuff. Uh, we'll throw down a coffee machine because without coffee, uh, they also tend to not work particularly well. So let's just throw down bit of a desk. Uh, there are a few different coffee machines. All of your items do have a durability on them. They do last only so long. Uh, even the computer, if we look at our computer here, uh, you'll see its durability. Its state is at 64%, so we should probably look into getting the maintenance guys in to come and uh, get that back up to snuff. Uh, ignore my phone going off there. That's completely not uh, unprofessional at all, but let's go ahead and throw down some instant coffee right about there so my guy can drink some coffee. It's getting a little bit cramped. Uh, like I mentioned, we are going to have to add uh, another little room here just to put the toilet in. 
in. So for now, you know, let's just do it. Just do that. <laughs> it's not nothing particularly glamorous, but it will work just fine. So select bathroom, stick a toilet in there for now. We'll like so put that there. And then we'll stick a light in there as well, just so they can see what they're doing whilst they're in there. And then finally, of course, we do need a door. Otherwise, the whole thing will be completely pointless. We'll put a little door there. Like so we won't make it a transparent door. We'll make it a normal door uh, so that it works just fine. And here we go. We now have space uh, for an extra employee. So let's back out. And let's look at hiring somebody else. So uh, we get to pick the uh, the role that we want them to, 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 to take part in. Uh, I will hire a programmer. We want them to specialize in audio. We are making audio software. And then we can select their salary. Later on, I like to just go full up to try and get the best people possible. For now, I'm going to lower it a little bit. We're going to say we're going to play the person $3,000 a month. You can see we have $50,000. So we can't, we, we can pay them for more than a year, which should hopefully get the software to completion. But we can't pay them indefinitely. So what we're probably going to have to do is take out a few contracts between now and when CAFWIF Pro is finished releasing. Uh, you can also interview them on a specific skills. It does cost more money for every interview. You can see right now it costs an extra 100 per uh, one of these that we select. So I'm going to unselect all these. I'm going to spend a uh, 1,000, I think it is. We go all the way to the max. I'm going to spend a 1,000 on looking. And these are all the people that have responded to the ads. You can organize them by age, skill, and then action just says higher. We can't do anything else there. Um, one thing to bear in mind is that people do actually grow older with time. And so if we hire somebody who is, for example, 60, um, it is entirely likely that within the next 10 to 20 years, they will die at some point, And we will have to pay out some insurance stuff. That's why we have uh, this little fun thing down here. We do have to pay out uh, if we fire people, if someone dies, et cetera, et cetera, if they're in the hospital. And so we do have to have these funds around just in case. You see, we have life insurance per employee. We have all that kind of stuff that we do have to pay for. Uh, so when we're hiring people, I think I just lost. Yeah, I have to pay again now. Flipping it because I quit that out. Uh, but let's go ahead and again, let's make sure we're doing programmer. We'll say audio. And again, we'll pay them 3000 We are going to spend another 1000 here to look again uh, but let's have a look at skill uh, you'll find that the most skilled are usually the older people on the list and you can see right now we're not getting anybody at like a hundred percent because we're not offering a whole lot of money but this person here Alison Chunningham uh, let's go ahead and interview her personality you'll see that there are like there's like a little compatibility thing here I like to make sure that the person has a good compatibility here we go Jonathan Foley he's a flirt I don't know if he's gonna flirt with me maybe he's that way inclined quite possibly good compatibility uh, he's a bit more stressed than he is lazy social independent there's some stuff about them and uh, you can also interview on skill and specialization so we can see he is pretty good at audio uh, he's pretty good at programming not particularly great at designing which is not the best but that's fine we will go ahead and we will hire jonathan here uh you have limited funds uh do you want to hire him yes we do want to hire him and then we will continue on for the next day and uh, let's hope that calf wave sells a little bit more through to the month of uh of may it it's a little bit we made 1500 not a whole lot but you'll see now that everybody is working, or both people here, I guess. Uh, let's hire some more cleaning as well. Both people here are working on CAFWave Pro. It's going to take them a little while. You can see it's going very, very slowly because we only have two people, and we should probably really have uh, a f another, some more people uh, on the job. Actually, you know, you know what? I'm going to hire a third person. It might be a bad idea because the more people you hire, obviously, the more you got to pay them, and the, the, your expenses rack up uh, pretty quickly. But I do want to hire a designer to see if we can get this going a little bit faster. So again, uh, I'll pay the designer, I guess, three and a half thousand. We'll pay a thousand looking for them. Um, I want the most skillful person for the job. Ruth Weber, are you my person? Normal, bad, good. You know what? Ricky Green, you are my person. I will hire you, and you are now going to sit right about here in the middle of both me and whoever that other person was that I just hired. I've completely forgotten the name already, but let's go ahead and do something like that. We have three people working on this. Uh, one of them is a designer, so hopefully this will go a little bit faster, but what we'll also do is we'll start taking out some contract work as well to try and cover the costs of those uh, salaries every month, because right now we're paying about 7000 a month in salaries, so let's accept some Hollywood work. So you want to make sure we get at least one contract done per month to cover the cost of that 7,000 salary a month. So this one here is really easy to uh, to design. Alpha development's going to be super easy. It's going to easily cover that uh, 7,000 that we're spending on salaries. And basically, all we're going to do now is continue to do that same thing over and over and over again. I'm going to stop marketing Calf Wave because, as you can see, uh, we're actually losing money marketing it now because we only made $65 last month. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit again. It's got 42 active users. We sold 406 copies. It didn't make us a profit. We spent a bit too much probably on uh, on on marketing there because you can see now it's actually lower than it was before. Uh, but we'll promote that up and we'll release that into beta form in a second. It is July. I hired people at completely the wrong time because if you'll notice under managed teams, uh, the core team goes on vacation in July. You don't have to pay them whilst they're on vacation, but uh, only your founder will actually work during vacation time. And so now it's July. No one's working on stuff. We do want to release it. Uh, a couple of times before now, I have 
been um, caught out, like I've hired, I've took out a bunch of contracts thinking I can get them done, had only a month to do it, realized everyone's gone on vacation, and then just like not done well at all. If you take out a contract, by the way, and don't complete it, or you complete it to a poor standard of quality, uh, you will sometimes either get charged for it, or they will just pay you like a really, really small amount. So you want to make sure you get it done as well as possible. Are there any more horrible contracts? Bad would also work, but horrible is what we're after. Let's accept that horrible one. And you know what, let's accept a bad one as well. As long as it's small in scope, we could probably also work on a bad one. You can see the bad one takes a bit longer, and uh, not particularly long, but still a little bit longer than the old one did. Uh, let's release that. Once this one's done, we will also develop and release that. We should probably hire cleaning again. Flipping heck, we are running out of... Uh, we, we, the place is getting messy real quick here. And it's to September 1981 already. Time is flying by. But our money is kind of staying steady, though. As long as we can keep up with these uh, with these contract team and make sure that we don't sp not do any contracts and spend, like, too little time making the money that we need to sustain people, then we should be good to go. Let's develop that one. This one should develop first. It's a horrible one, so it should develop super quick. You'll notice also, by the way, that everyone's kind of using whichever computer they like. You can assign a specific person to a specific computer, and later on down the line, you can even go as far as to uh, limit room usage to only, like, programmers or only leaders or only designers to, uh, to like, ultimately lock down wherever people can go and, and, and have full control over how everything looks and works. Uh, let's promote that. You can see this one's at negative one month. We've actually taken too long uh, for this bad one. We've t we didn't finish it in time. And uh, so we are going to see some kind of penalty for that. That one's fine. Made us $9,000. This one we'll promote and then we will release. But they're probably not going to pay us as much for it. You see they paid us 4000 The ad was probably for like, you know, 9000 8000 something like that. So it didn't work out as well, but still made us a bit of money. Still didn't cost us all that much money. And so what I'm going to do, guys, now is I'm going to go away. Uh, I'm going to hire cleaning again. I'm going to kind of just loop this process a little bit. I'm going to get some more... Um, Take out some more contracts, continue to work on CAF Wave Audio Tool Pro, uh, and I'll be back in a second once we get this up, uh, probably close to the beta phase. Okay, so actually quite a long time later, it's now July 1983, CAF Wave Pro is coming along, but very very, very slowly. Our military employees are currently on vacation because it is July. And you can see our money is going down fairly quickly. We've got 15000 right now because we're not really able to sustain ourselves on these contracts. They are kind of deteriorating pretty quickly. There are no more horrible ones, and they do come across uh, a lot slower. The, the more that you do, you get less and less horrible ones. Uh, obviously, the game's expecting you to make better ones as time goes on. And so what I think I'm going to do here real quick, just to try and get some money, is develop some more software. I'm going to develop another piece of software, but make it a lot easier, and then try and sell that. So let's say we make some office software. Let's call it uh, CAF. We'll, we'll start all of our software with, with CAF, just to make it um, nice and easy for people to know who we are. We'll call it CAF uh, Word. <laughs> there we go. That'll work, sure. Um, and we'll just make it a simple word processor. We'll sell it for $9.99 because it's going to be super cheap. Default's fine. Hopefully everyone's still using Opti5. They are. And uh, the only problem with developing software for such a long time, like we've been developing CAFWave Pro probably for about a year now. If we kept developing it for like four more years, people might, might not be using the same operating system. Other companies might have taken over us and made the software better than what we're making it and, and stuff like that. So... We're going to develop this. We're going to click develop. Uh, I don't want to start hyping it up yet, just yet. We are going to assign um, CAFWave Pro to nobody. We're going to like have it unassigned for now. I want my guy developing CAF Word so that we can start, push that out the door, get it done real quick, and then use the funds from that to finish creating CAFWave Pro. Because right now, we are we are heading for bankruptcy, and we need to get CAFWave Pro finished, preferably before going bankrupt. That would be nice. We can take out a loan. Uh, if push comes to shove, there is um, a loan bit over here. We could take up up to $100,000 uh, over between one month or 24 months. You can see the interest goes up. The amount that we pay each month and stuff changes. I would like, preferably, to not have to do that. But if we do have to do it, that's fine. Uh, do I want to make it great or outstanding? It says we're heading for bankruptcy. We are, actually. Let's hopefully find another uh, horrible contract uh we're not finding a horrible contract let's go with a bad one let's accept some bad work and uh, let's push this out we're gonna make it's gonna be great it's not gonna be outstanding but it's gonna be great it's gonna be fine we're hopefully not going to go bankrupt we might have to let somebody go uh there has been an employee by the way and uh, employees can do this employees can ask uh, to have their look this guy doesn't like i'm gonna fire this guy i'm gonna i'm gonna, I'm gonna fire him uh, because employees uh, can ask to have their salary raised and employees can also... Can I, can I fire this guy? Do I have to do it? Let me have a look at details. Uh, his name is 
uh, Jonathan. This is Jonathan. You can see his salary has, has gone up. I don't know if you can see his salary on here anywhere, but basically, uh, if they're not happy, they can ask for a raise, but they can also demand one. Uh, otherwise, they're going to quit. This guy has demanded two raises since I hired him, and so this guy, this guy is getting fired. Let me have a look here. Manage employees. Jonathan, you're out of here. I'm gonna I'm gonna fire Jonathan, and that's gonna save us three thousand dollars a month. He's 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 the more expensive, uh, the, the cheaper of the two, and the other guy, the more expensive guy, is the guy that we're keeping on. Um, but I'm gonna fire him. He's gone. Let's develop that. Hopefully, with just me and, and Ricky here, he doesn't like Jonathan anyway. So it wasn't it wasn't a good match. You know, they didn't like they didn't like each other. So that's fine. Uh, is there any horrible contract work we could do with some horrible contract work? About now there isn't. Um, so we're gonna skip over to the next month. We're gonna go down to four thousand dollars, which is not. Oh, we're not. We're going to go to $700. That is not a good place to be. Oh, that's fine. Um, okay, let's promote that to the to, to thing, and then let's like, release it. Okay, I guess it took us to $6,000. we are going to promote this. Here we go. Promote. Okay, so we're going to get some bugs. All right, we're, gonna, we're, about to, we're about to release Calf Word. If Calf Word does amazingly well, I will be astonished. But here we go. We've fixed out all the bugs. Let's release it. I do want to market it everywhere. Which is going to cost a lot. So I am going to take a loan here, actually. I'm going to take a loan for 10000 Not a whole lot of money, but I'm going to take a loan for 10000 I'm going to pay it back over the course of the next year. So I'm going to keep it for quite a while. But we're going to take out a loan just so that we can market this. Let's see what happens. We reviewed the product. Um, Gaming on Caffeine shocks productivity. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. They actually liked it. Um, a small but tight office software. Calf Word is beautiful. It's a beautiful piece of engineering. They actually liked Calf Word. Can you believe it? And you also notice whenever we release new software, uh, we do set up like a little support thing so that we can help users who are having problems with it. And uh, let me call cleaning as well. Keep this going. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, actually, we should probably assign the call team to uh, Calfwave Pro as well because they can market and develop Calfwave Pro at the same time. Um, so hopefully here, we make enough money from calf wave uh, from calf word you can see it's going down we're not making any money just yet but hopefully the marketing is going to work and tomorrow this number is going to be at least a little bit higher Ooh, so this guy's requested 162 dollar uh, raise i will accept this that's fine it, it didn't make the money that i was looking for uh it's it's got 54 users nobody's using calf wave anymore uh, we sold 54 units in fairness it was a particularly a uh, cheap piece of software, like it didn't have a whole lot put into it, which is not great. Uh, I'm going to hope that it's going to be enough, though, to sustain us as we go forward. I'm going to end the marketing. I'm going to stop spending money on marketing, which is probably going to hurt us more than it's going to help us. We did just go bankrupt. We are going to withdraw some money, but that's not going to take us all the way there. Uh, yes, we will take out a loan. And actually, you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to I'm going to go all out. We're going to take out a loan. No, I'm not. I'm going to take out a loan for another 20,000. We're going to take out 20,000. We're going to pay it back over the course of the next 2 years. That's fine. We'll take out the loan. Um I think again we're going to have to put a pause on Calfwave Pro though because Calfwave Pro is taking so long to develop. It's not going to be done in time. At least I don't think so. We can keep it going, but I don't think we're going to be sustained on Calf Word, which is also a, a bust in terms of the amount of profit that it made. It did not make Anywhere near as much profit as I would have liked. I think Calfway Pro is coming along. I think what we'll do is when it gets to great, we'll move it into beta. And then it should be good to go pretty soon after that. So we are going to lose a bit more money here. We're going to, we are heading for bankruptcy as the game is. Um, holding, not holding back at all in telling us. But once it gets to great, we'll, we'll promote it. It's not going to be outstanding, which is a shame because we spent like a long time creating this. But we'll release it. And uh, let's take a look at some more contracts while we're waiting for this. Is there anything? Oh, there is horrible work. I love it. Let's take it. Develop. Promote. Release. There we go. Phew. An easy 10,000. Let's accept some more horrible work. And that's fine. Okay. Here we go. There's a lot of bugs in Calf Wave Pro, apparently. I was really hoping that the beta phase would go by a lot faster than it has been going. But that's fine. We'll develop this. Unfortunately, there's no way to... Um, fix bugs post release so like after you've released your product there's no way to then go back and like fix the bugs and make it better software or even change the price of the software like you would in uh, in the real world you know c companies all the time go back and, and and make software better but there's no way to do that in this like once you've put your software out there if it's bad it's bad it's done like you cannot you cannot go and fix it so although i want to get this out of the door as fast as possible i also want it to be good enough to to actually sell well because if it doesn't we are in a real sticky situation. I and I have lost this a few times. Like I have played this game uh, a couple of times over, and I have gone bankrupt a few times. This is the, my, my previous save, the one that I played the most time on, has actually done particularly well. But I've also lost like twice playing this game, gone completely bankrupt. And I'm really hoping that doesn't happen this time around. 
Um, unless we can take out some more contracts, we're only going to be able to pay this guy for like one more month. So you know what? Uh, unfortunately, my friend, uh, I'm going to have to let you go. So let's go back to manage employees. Ricky, you've been with the company for three years. Flipping heck. But uh, you're fired because um, my salary is zero and your salary is 4,000. So I'm going to fire him and we're going to finish up Calf Wave Pro as a solo project here, which should allow us to continue going pretty easily. Like, we shouldn't have that many outgoing expenses, I don't think, if we're, if we're still using Calf Wave Pro. Um, there were only two people using Calf Word? Really? Really? It's been like less than a year and there were only two people using it actively? That is ridiculous. We still lost so much money. What are we spending all of our money on? That's crazy. I'm not quite sure what happened there, but it's fine. We fixed... Okay, we're going to release it. We're going to release this. We're going to market it everywhere. We are going to go hard. We're putting all of our eggs into in, into the, the Calf Wave Pro basket. To be fair, Calf Wave, the original, was not a success. So the likelihood that Calf Wave Pro will be a success is, is, is unlikely. But we're going to go for it. We're going to see if it works. And it could potentially save the company. We'll see. All right, first day is over. We're at negative 629. Oh, we didn't make that much money. Uh, yeah, we'll take out a loan. How much? Uh, Cafe Pro is beautiful piece of engineering. The, 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 the reviewers are loving us. The reviewers are loving what we're doing, but the people are just are just not. What are you sitting here for? You really like Johnny? That's nice. <laughs> let's let's uh, let's uh, take out another loan. How much can we take out now? Flipping, we can take out sixty thousand. So we're not really out yet. We can still take out a lot more loans, which doesn't help a lot. Like that's probably where all of our money's going. We are paying back all of those loans, which doesn't help um, a, a whole lot. But we'll continue to market this for at least this month. And then if it's not looking like it's going to be a success after this month, we're going to have to go and, and, and start another piece of software altogether because it's just it, it's not going to work. 20000 We actually made some money off of Calf Wave Pro. Beautiful. All right. Call cleaning. Look at this. Look at this. People are buying Calf Wave Pro. It's not been a profit because we spent a ton on paying those other, those other two employees to actually make it but there are 400 employees uh, 400 active users and we've sold like 400 units wait does that work yeah okay so we've sold one more unit than there are active users beautiful okay so let's go over to the next day 17 tickets this is it this is our momentum look at this we made thirty two thousand dollars in the last month how much p how much oh look at this look at this a thousand units sold we might actually go positive on this as well like if we make a profit on this i will be amazed because we sunk so much money into paying those other two employees it is ridiculous so let's see uh we've made thirty-one thousand that month so we're actually on a high right now we've peaked in sales are we gonna sell even more next month i think we might have actually done that i think we may have actually sold even more. yeah we sold like 700 copies this month that's crazy. So we are actually making money on Calf Wave Pro. You can see right now our guy is kind of working on spot tickets. Uh, I'm going to develop some more software here. Um, obviously, we could go for another audio tool. We could go for another successor to Calf Wave Pro. But I don't think that's going to be a good idea because if we do, then it's going to take even longer. You saw how long Calf Wave Pro took. Developing a sequel to that would have to be even better and would therefore have to take even more time to complete. So let's go with, let's create another Word Office software. Let's go, uh, Calf, let's do Calf Word Pro, you know. Um, Calf Wave Pro worked. Uh, after Calf Wave was a success, uh, was not a success, and so hopefully Calf Word Pro will be a success after Calf Word really wasn't a success. <laughs> but we'll do that. Let's see. Is everyone still on Opti5? Uh, it looks like they are. Oh no, everyone's now on Frame Blinds 5. Oh, okay. So let's develop for Frame Blinds 5, I guess. I don't think we could change our previous software. Like, can we? I don't think there's a way that we can, like, adjust it and make it available on that new platform if there was that would be so much better because then we could just like port our old software over to the new platform and sell so many more copies but uh, let's make it a direct sequel to calf word uh calf word had that this time we'll have quality assurance i guess um still gonna take less than a year which is good auto layout maybe Maybe I want to, mm, okay, I want to add some stuff to it, but I don't want to make it, let's add spreadsheet functionality. They're recommending $40. Let's go with uh, $24.99 again. We'll sell, well, you know what? Let's go with $29.99 because we're going to make at least some profit from it. $29.99. We're going to make it for Frame Blinds 5. That's the operating system. All right, sure. Develop Calf Word Pro. Again, hopefully not going to take too long. I might actually try something different uh, this time around though, in terms of the marketing. I might try marketing Calf Word Pro a little before release to try and get some hype up because you'll notice with uh, the release of Calf Wave Pro, and I apologize if you can't like 
there's, there are a lot of CAF softwares right now, but uh, CAF with Pro um, didn't do all too well in its first month. I think I might have been to do with the fact that the uh, we didn't make, we didn't market it before it was released we started marketing when we released it and so what i think i might do is when we move calf word pro into the beta phase we will then start to market it and then expand from there you'll see we are still making money calf wave pro has been a huge success uh, it's not quite been profitable yet and uh, you'll see we're, we're currently still uh, negative eight thousand in profit but i have good hopes that uh, as soon as we skip over to december here Boom! Profit! We made $21,000 off of CAFWIF Pro. We've sold 3,000 units and we have 1,200 current active members. Um, I think the reason the active members is not so high is because everyone has moved over to the new operating system and CAFWIF Pro is not on that operating system. And so we should, probably after we've developed CAFWIF Pro, look into developing, look into developing uh, CAFWIF Pro for... The new OS, maybe, and, and adding a few stuff to it, maybe call it like CAFWave Pro Plus or something. Uh, I'm not particularly great at, at naming softwares here, but we'll keep going. We'll keep doing this. We will call cleaning. Uh, I feel like, again, we should hire some more people to make this faster. So we will hire an employee. We'll see how this goes. We'll hire another programmer. Uh, we'll pay them. Let's see, how much do I pay them? Programmer. Uh, we'll pay them We'll pay them a little bit more. We'll go for, you know, we'll go full out 4,000. Let's see, we'll pay 1,000 to look for them. Uh, this guy is 57, 34. Let's have a look here. Personality, very bad. He is not going to work well in our scenario. 58 does work well. He does not work well. You know what? It's fine. I'm going to hire this guy. He might be old, but if he gets the work done, I am... I don't want to look again, actually. I want to hire. Uh, if he gets the work done, then that's fine. Like, we've made a lot of money from Calf Wave Pro. If he can just help getting Calf Word Plus up and running and going, then that's fine. I, I'm not bothered about how old he is. That's perfect. So we've made a bit of money. We're still making some money off Calf Wave Pro. We should probably stop marketing it uh, sometime soon because we're not making as much money every single month now. Once it drops below ten thousand, I'll stop marketing it. But uh, it's been a, it's been a profit. It's been a success. We made fifty thousand dollars from it. Uh, I'll stop marketing now uh, for Calf Wave Pro, and we'll focus all of our energy and all of our time on designing Calf Word Pro. And we might as well also continue to look for horrible contracts. And by horrible, I mean just they require a horrible design. Uh, there are none. There are absolutely none. We'll hire the bad one because clocks are usually fairly easy to make. So we'll develop that. This just keeps us. We don't really need it all that much. We've got quite a bit of money now. We've got $164,000. Uh, but, you know, just having that extra 10000 to be able to cover this guy's salary, whose name I've completely forgot, is going to be fine. All right, we'll call the cleaners again. We can eventually hire a cleaner uh, who charges 1000 per month. Uh, so once we get to like a bit, a bit of a bigger building and uh, start to have a lot more employees and we're, it's getting very messy very quickly, it would be... Um, a lot more beneficial for us to just hire a cleaner than to, um, like, rent one, I guess. It sounds real weird when you say rent a person. But uh, then just, like, contract one, I guess, uh, every every time our room gets a little dirty. Okay, here we go. Calf Word Pro is currently great. I'm going to develop it. It's going to be great. I'm not... I'm, we could have gone for outstanding again, but... I think there's kind of a balance to be had there. I think going for outstanding is not necessarily always the best way to go. And so we're going to go with just great. And I'll do the same thing here on um, on the alpha quality. We're going to go with just great and we're going to see how it goes. So let's take a quick look at our monthly profit here. You can see uh, if we turn some of these off, sales is the one in pink here. Uh, sales have dipped uh, massively since last time. Look at this. Uh, so this is when we sold Calf Wave Pro. The sales of Calf Wave Pro have, have dropped rapidly like way too much um and you'll see that our, co our like staff costs uh, is it under salaries uh, our salary cost has gone up as well so this is done this is great we'll promote it to beta hopefully it won't take too long one guy went on vacation that's fine we might be able to fix the bugs on our own depending on how many there are nowhere near as many bugs in this one there were like hundreds of bugs in calf wave pro but this one is fine the game did say that there were certain employees i think one of our employees was not quite adept enough at what we were doing and so it did cause more bugs to be put into calf wave pro than were necessary but here we go calf word pro is ready we're gonna we should have again marketed it before we released it but we're gonna release it we're gonna market it at the same time as release and we're gonna see if we can actually make some money off of it Okay, here we go. Let's go over to the next month. As soon as my guy's gone. All right, they reviewed it. Calf Word Pro is taking productivity to new heights. It does Calf Word justice. It does the predecessor a good job. I like it. Okay, so whilst we're still marketing that, I am going to start working. Uh, oh, we've unlocked antivirus. Oh, okay, we're going we're gonna to do an antivirus because I feel like I'm, I can do antiviruses. Uh, QA. I don't want to take too long. Background scan, user interface. All of those still put it at less than a year. So I'm going to do that. 2D editor will go with, uh, what did we use last time? Power Suite 8? 
That's not the most used one anymore. We'll go with Final Pro 7 this time, I guess. Although, Power 3 8 is free to use. But I'm going to go with Final Pro 7 still. Um, and who is? what's the operating system everyone's using now? You'll see there are a lot more operating systems uh, as we move forward uh, into 1985. We spent five years on this so far. As we move forward, you'll see a lot more operating systems pop up. We will develop for... Do I want to develop for the first few? I don't want to develop yet. I might develop for Doorface as well, just because it's being... Um, yeah, we'll develop for Dollface, and you know what? We'll also develop for Bot 8. We'll make it a much more widespread um, piece of software this time. Antivirus, let's call it uh, Kef uh, Shield Pro. We're going to jump straight into the deep end and call this one Pro, because then people are going to look at it and think, wow, I heard of that's the company uh, Gaming on Caffeine, and they produce the Pro versions, always the better version. The, the original is crap. You can dodge it. So we're going to go with Kef Word Pro here, uh, or Kef Shield Pro. Uh, we will sell it for $79.99. It's a bit cheaper than the competitors. We're going to go with that. That's fine. Develop it. I would not like to start marketing yet. Don't know how long that's going to take to develop. Looks like it's going to take a fair bit of time. But hopefully, I'm really banking on Calf Word Pro being a success. Because so if it is, then that should keep us going. And even if it's not, we've got $140,000. We should be somewhat okay to keep going for the near future. All right, let's see if we make a profit on it. Kaboom, we did it. $4,000. Uh, I don't know if that's classified as a profit yet. Let's have a look. Profit. Uh, Calf Word Pro. Not at all uh, is it a profit yet. We spent $30,000 developing it, and it's currently only sold 158 units. But I'm hoping, I have faith, that as time goes on, Calf Word Pro will become a success, and hopefully we'll make some profit with the marketing that we're putting into it. Look at these guys go. You kind of missed it, but we'll hire a cleaner here real quick. Uh, you can hire the cleaner at night as well. They will come like, whilst the rest of your employees are not there. Let's skip that on. It made some more money. It is making some money. Look at these guys. Go. We got coffee that's tearing through it. No idea what happened to that guy's coffee just then. Any. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. There were all the horrible contracts. We'll take them all because then we can just develop them. Horrible again. Probably shouldn't take on so, so many. But when they're easy, they're real easy. Develop, develop. There we go. Right. We won't hire a third one just yet. It's going to take us a while to, to get Calf Shield Pro up and running. It's going to take us quite a while. And this video has already gone exceptionally long. So, there we go, guys. We currently have $150,000. And I'm going to end this first episode of Software Inc. There. As always, if you did enjoy the video and you'd like to see more of this, uh, feel free to tell me in the comment section down below. Hit that like button. Uh, this is kind of like a test episode. I'm not quite sure uh, if I'm going to make this into a full series. Depends if you guys like it. Uh, the game does get, uh, I would say, more interesting as time goes on, as we can expand out and get our building to be a lot bigger, to look a lot nicer. We can get a reception going, canteens. We can do all kinds of stuff. And we can start to work on multiple projects at once. Right now, we're kind of just trying to stay afloat. Uh, but uh, like I said, the game does get more interesting. At least I think so. And I've spent a lot of time uh, on this game already. But again, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like. It really does help out a lot. Leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys next time.